What's up guys and girls, DC Comic Guy here. Now I've decided to switch things up a bit. What I've decided to do now is every week I'm going to make a video, the weekly wrap, discussing all the news that's going on for the week. Uh, once all the TV shows start, I will be doing reviews of the shows, explaining characters and storylines. So don't worry about that. Um, I'll also drop bonus videos during the week uh, discussing competitions uh, for ways for you to get more entries into competitions. I have just posted up the August competition. So make sure you check on that. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Make sure you like my Facebook page because it's just easy for me to contact you guys for the competitions. Uh, you need to like my Facebook page to win the competitions as well. So please jump over and do that. You can find those links in the description below. Guys, let's get into the news that's going on. I'll see you guys after this. So let's kick it off with the arrow. The last time we saw Oliver Queen, he was driving off into the sunset with Felicity and planning on retiring of being the arrow. It has been since confirmed that Oliver will be returning to Starling City as a masked vigilante and his team will go through a number of changes in Season 4. The first change revealed at San Diego Comic Con was he would be throwing a new sleeker costume on in the fourth season. The episode heads will also see the resurrection of Sarah Lance to set up Legends of Tomorrow's show, as well as Diggle finally getting a costume of his own. For the team of heroes, the biggest question is where will they be operating? Well, EW released a piece of concept art that shows a new lair for Oliver and the gang. The series writers refer to the cave as the Arrow Bunker, though there's no word if it will be called that on the show. Also, if you haven't heard, Matt Ryan, who played Constantine in the recently axed TV show Constantine, will be appearing on Arrow as, yes, Constantine. Are they looking to revive the character on screen? And how do you think he will fit into the story on Arrow? Maybe something with the new Ra's al Ghul? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, what are you guys looking forward to most of Season 4? What would you like to see happen? And what would you name the new lair? Let's talk about that in the comment section below. Now, let's move on to some news about the actor, Stephen Amell, who plays Oliver Queen. Now, if you are not a wrestling fan, but you are an Arrow fan, you should know that Stephen Amell, who plays Oliver, will be wrestling at WWE SummerSlam. He'll be teaming up with Neville, which is funny because Neville's finishing move is called the Red Arrow, and they will be taking on Stardust and Wade Barrett. Stephen Amell has been training words with Stardust on social media in the past months, which led to this match. Now, me personally, I am a WWE fan. I'm looking forward to this. I would love to see Stephen Amell come out. In the Arrow outfit, it would have been even better if he could do what Shawn Michaels done at WrestleMania 12 when he came down with the zip line flying to the ring. I'd love to see Stephen Amell in his Arrow outfit just flying down to the ring, but unfortunately the circumstances that happened many years ago with the death of Owen Hart, they probably won't do that, but I'd just love to see him come into the ring in his Arrow outfit and just wrestle Stardust. It'll be awesome. It is going to be a tag team match, so hopefully we do see a bit more of uh, Stephen Amell in the match, but guys... Let's knock it off track. Let's now move on to Supergirl. Now, CBS's up-and-coming series Supergirl show seems to be continuing the comic book tradition of terrifying creatures with supernatural abilities. It has been revealed that Hal Gramite, a villain with insect-like superpowers who first showed up in the 1968 comic The Brave and the Bold, as Roger Groves will be appearing on the show. Roderick is an entomologist who subjects himself to a series of genetic mutation experiments. Roderick then develops superhuman abilities that closely resemble a grasshopper-like insect. He possesses super strength and supercharged leaping abilities and is capable of weaving a cocoon prison around his victims. Now this may leave a possibility for an Arrow crossover. In the comics, Hal Gramite has gone head to head with both Green Arrow as well as Black Canary and this could be a great way to tie the two shows together. CBS does have a deal with the CW to do one crossover show with Arrow so this could be the way. Supergirl premieres Monday, October the 26th on CBS. Now that's all we have for the weekly wrap. Thanks for watching guys please subscribe to my youtube account please like me on facebook www.facebook.com forward slash the dc comics guy you can find those links in the section below guys make sure you get on the august competition it does end the 30th of august watch that video but please do like my facebook page just so i can uh, contact you easier guys i will be back next week i will speak to you soon dc comic guy